Well, we welcome the report. You know, it is first time there's a big breakthrough uh, uh, regarding the human rights uh, situation in Kashmir. Before this report, you know, in 2008, there was a, you know, the European Parliament has passed a resolution when uh, the mass graves were discovered in Kashmir. <coughs> And uh, the European uh, Commission, European Parliament urged the government of India to investigate in the mass graves and also my protection. But this report <coughs> by the office of the, uh, you know, that uh, Human Rights Commission has more significance because the report uh, is urging almost what we have been saying from last 20, 25 years, that there should be investigation. I mean, the perpetrators are not uh, punished. Then also that the uh, issue of disappearance, then the torture, extrajudicial execution, also a few more violations, you know, they have expressed their concern. And uh, because the government of India didn't allow them in 2016, when they uh, approached the government of India and Pakistan for giving access to the to investigate uh, the human rights situation in Kashmir, government of India did not. And uh, Pakistani government said that if India allows, we also have no objection. You know, one of the major success of the Indian government is that government of India has been earlier has been very successful in preventing the human rights uh, situation in Kashmir getting internationalized. You know that. They have been very, uh, you know, their PR and other things they have, so far they have been able to prevent it, not to get the issue, because there are other issues in Palestine, in Syria and other conflict areas. But now of this report, you know, <clears throat> the way it has been released by the High Commissioner of the Human Rights Commission and first such report after 70 years where the concern has been made. So the India is really on defensive now. Though the Indian government has rejected the report and even very ridiculous argument is that it is the I mean, uh, assault on their sovereignty uh, in the era of globalization. We see that human rights is a concern for the whole world. You know, we have the R2P no responsibility to protect civilians. So, Gonda of India cannot uh, uh, say when there's a institutional and systematic violation being perpetrated on the people of Kashmir. Uh, so, Gonda of India's argument is very ridiculous in that. आज जो अकवाय मुतहदा की रिपोर्ट आई है ये 30 साल की कश्मीर की शोरी जदा तवारीक में पहली ऐसी रिपोर्ट है जो कंप्रिहेंसिव रिपोर्ट कही जा सकती है अकवाय मुतहदा जो जो कि दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा ह्यूमन राइट्स इंस्टीट्यूशन है उन्होंने करीबन ये बता दिया है कि कश्मीर में ह्यूमन राइट्स मानव अधिकार की सूरत हाल काफ़ी ख़राब है इंसानी हकूक को तार तार किया जा रहा है और आज इस रिपोर्ट के आने से जो हिंदुस्तानी रियासत है उस पर यह बावर होना चाहिए कि कश्मीर में जो उसका सलूक रहा है इंसानी हकूक़ को लेकर इंसानों को को ट्रीट करने के लेकर वो काफ़ी बुरा रहा है चाहे पैलट गन का यूज़ हो कश्मीर में फेक एनकोटर्स का मामला हो कश्मीर में बच्चों का गन उठाने का मामला हो तो यूनाइट नेशन की रिपोर्ट हिंदुस्तानी रियासत को झंझोड़नी चाहिए कि वो कश्मीर में इम्प्रूवमेंट कैसे लाए और इस मसले को हल कैसे करे पुरमिन तरीके से ताकि इस ह्यूमन ट्रेजडी को ख़त्म किया जाए